In a recent article posted on STM Daily News, Rod Washington, the author, talked about a hotel chain out of the Netherlands, Citizen M. In the article, Joshua Willingham, a contributor to STM Daily News, described this unique and interesting hotel chain he stayed at with his wife, Tori, on a trip they took to Seattle back in January of this year. Uh, interesting is a way to uh, a way to put it. Um, put it more like a um, different than what you're usually used to. That's not a bad thing. Trying to you know not spend a ton of money uh, on a trip like that, and we weren't going to be in Seattle very long the first day because we're going to be taking the train, and I need to be. I want to be in the downtown area, so we're not too far from the train station. And I was looking at the usual suspects, so to say, the, the Hyatts and the Hiltons and the you know budget sixes and everything, trying to find something that was just going to be cheap to stay overnight. And I, I saw um, a hotel I hadn't heard of called Citizen M and their the prices were really good. And so I did some checking around reviews. They had good reviews. So I was like, yeah, let's give it a try. They had a really cool app and that made it really easy to book. So uh, I figured I'd give something different to try. I'm a Hyatt loyalist. I'm a globalist. So I usually stay at Hyatt all the time. So for me to deviate from my usual Hyatt, it's a big deal. Joshua went on to describe what was unique about Citizen M. Well, let me talk about some of the things that aren't unique because they're important. Every hotel has staff. That's not unique. Staff at Citizen M were really good. Uh, very kind. You know, go to Hyatt's, usually it's a little bit more business oriented, especially like a Hyatt Regency. This had a very warm feeling, like uh, they were very welcoming. They know that the concept is different, so they were there to explain things to you. And so that was important, you know, uh, the staff was a, a big deal. And of course they had a food area, a bar. Um, food was very good. I had um, some free drinks provided by Citizen M uh, for part of um, the promotion they had. Uh, it was all excellent. Now getting on to the unique. So I you know, went up to the room and uh, opened up the door. It was just very different than I had ever experienced. Um, it, was, it was small, which in a city like Seattle isn't unusual. But the thing about it, it was, well, unique is the best way to put it. They used the space very efficiently, but it was very clean, very modern. I'd almost say, you know, um, like a Scandinavian feel, very, that very simplistic, but functional feel. But it wasn't, um, and I don't want to say sterile, because they had a lot of fun touches. Uh, like, I remember there was a, like, kind of like a pillow that was like a little guy, you know, it was a very unique character. And the, the TV was up on the wall and it had, you know, welcome citizen Joshua, <laughs> you know, and. But then what really is unique, and I definitely mean this compared to anywhere I've ever been, is the technology. The technology is throughout the whole experience when you're in the room. Uh, they provide a iPad. Um, if you don't have the app on your phone, they have an iPad in the room and um, it controls lighting. It controls your, your shades, your inner curtain, your light blocking shades. Uh, you can set alarms through it. And when I mean it controls like lights, the bathroom area is it's an area that's blocked off by like frosted glass. And in there is full RGB lighting. So you can change it to whatever colors you want, uh, whatever brightness. And so I, was, I had the iPad and I was like, going, like green, blue, red, purple. You know, I was like, just move my finger across <laughs> it and it change all these different colors because it was a lot of fun. I was able to um, dial in a, a uh, different mood. They even had like on there, like a, you know, like good night type of button, if I remember it, and you, you do it, it's like, <laughs> the lights are all gone, everything turns off. Doing technology, if anybody's even tried something at home, very simple, like a Wi-Fi controlled dimming light or something like that, you know, technology doesn't always go the way you hope. They pulled off the technology pretty flawlessly, and that was impressive. How did Josh compare his overnight experience at Citizen M to other hotels he stayed at previously? You know, if, if I'm going to a Hyatt, I pretty much know what I'm going to expect. Um, even if you go between the different brands of Hyatt, you know, between like a Hyatt Regency or a um, Grand Hyatt or something like that, there's going to be an experience that kind of runs through it. The, the look and feel kind of changes a little bit and everything. 
and it feels like a hotel. You know, that's not a bad thing. Have, having that, it's kind of like McDonald's, you know. Um, you know, if you go to a place, you're going to get the same, like a McDonald's, you're going to get the same thing every time. And pr- people like that. Um, Citizen M, I haven't been to their other properties, but for my scene, they, they do a lot of local flavor. So if you're in Seattle, that's going to be probably a, a bit of a different experience than if you're in New York. And uh, I think that's a lot of fun. I wouldn't call staying at many Hyatts, I, I like as much as I like them, fun. I'd say they're functional. You know, I had fun at Citizen M. We had a good time, like uh, when we went down for food, uh, the staff had a good time playing with the room. You know, you don't usually get to say, I played with the room for a while, you know, um, and just exploring exploring the, the, the functionality of the stay. And then, uh, you know, you look at the room and it's uh, it's smaller and you wonder, okay, well, in the end, you know, usually at a hotel, you're, you're there to stay and sleep and then go about your business the next day to, to go explore or whatever. I laid down on the bed and it was by far probably one of the most comfortable beds I've ever had at a hotel. That's a big deal, you know. If you're, you know, going to some place that you're, you're there as your little home base to get some rest, well, you want some rest that's comfortable. <laughs> yeah, so being able to control the room so much to tailor to your preferences and then having a very comfortable space was, it was really nice. Would Joshua return to Citizen M in the future? Would he recommend the hotel to family and friends? I would, depending on the circumstances, because you could probably imagine from the way I described it, if I had three kids in tow, yeah, it's probably not the, it's just not the right concept for that type of thing. If I was going to be doing a, a two-week stay, it, I pro- it might not be my choice. Um, simply because of the, kind of the space and having a couple people, uh, you know, your clothes and stuff. But for the quick trips like we did, I would definitely look at Citizen M um, as one of my choices now going to a place like Seattle uh, for the convenience, the pricing, the uniqueness, the food and the staff uh, really kind of pulled it all together. Um, in a way that uh, I really appreciated and I really would recommend to my friends, definitely a couple um, or even by themselves, that they should check it out. And in fact, um, I don't think it was open when I was consulting in Seattle, but if it had been, I could have seen it being the place I stayed while I was in Seattle because the convenience, the price, um, just me there for you know four days would have been no problem as far as space goes. And um, I would have known that it's a, a great place to stay.